Hi, this is Matt Roberts with Shamrock Aquaponic Farm, and today I'm going to tell you how we put in our passive solar convection cooling for our greenhouse. Initially, we tried to cool our greenhouse using end wall fans and meter square roof vents along the ridge line. Uh, this had no real effect. Because we're located on the edge of the Everglades, we considered using cool walls. Um, evaporative cooling but it is so hot and humid down here that they say that it has the least amount of efficiency of any system so we um, stopped that and we started looking at sawtooth greenhouse designs where a continuous airflow exists I started by adding three foot screen vents continuously along the long sides uh, on both long sides of my greenhouse because um, my greenhouse was already built. I didn't want the water running on the ribs, so I added this little um, roof out over the three-foot vent to keep the rainwater away from the wooden ribs. And attaching it at the purling at the three-foot high mark um, on every rib, and then connecting those with a one by two. And that gave me something to connect my um, polyethylene sheeting to. After completing the side vents, I next went and created a three foot wide continuous ridge vent um, along the ridge line by moving the two purlings, the two first purlings out to create that three foot space. I built the ridge rafters so that they would hang over the opening about a foot on either side. I also installed these nine inch blocks at the ridge and the fascia which will allow me to put the ridge board and the fascia board on from inside the greenhouse, from the scaffold, and not have to climb around on the top of that greenhouse. The roof rafters were installed on two foot two by twos, which created enough airflow uh, between the greenhouse roof and the ridge vent roof. I like this design because the airflow is less restricted and you're less likely to build up hot spots than you tend to with the sawtooth greenhouse design. By adding roll-up side walls and the addition of a powered ridge vent louver, I think this could make a very good all-season greenhouse. It's now the middle of August and we're here in the Everglades. Um, the vents have been completed for a couple of weeks now and by 3 o'clock in the afternoon I'm averaging about six degrees warmer inside the greenhouse than the outside ambient temperature under trees in the shade. Um, this is with no fans or power use at all. This is just using the convective cooling. Um, the beauty of that system is that as the greenhouse skin warms up one or two degrees warmer than the ambient, you start getting that airflow coming up from the bottom, it brings in that cooler air from the ground, it runs up the outside, and it chimneys its way up out of that cupola vent along the ridge. It's amazingly effective. We will be putting in a um, geothermal cooling loops to cool off our plant areas, but that'll be a different video. Thanks a lot. This has been Matt with Shamrock Aquaponic Farm.